All right, Calc class, one more example of the chain rule problem set. So we've got uh, a position function. And remember, velocity is a derivative of position. Acceleration is a derivative of velocity, or the second derivative of position. So i got this radical version of this. I'm going to rewrite this as a power. So I'm going to say that this is uh, 13 plus 6t. And remember, the square root is the same thing as the 1 half power. All right, now velocity. Velocity is the derivative of this. So I've got something to the one-half power. I need to do the power rule. So how does the power rule work? I bring down the power. All right, something. And now I subtract the one-half. Sorry, I subtract one from the one-half. So one-half minus one is negative. One half, and I'm doing it again. Negative one half is the new power. Now, that's how the power rule works. We bring the power down, we subtract one. The thing is, this is the function that was on the inside. It doesn't change when we do the chain rule. So it stays there, right? And then we chain on the derivative of what was inside. What's inside of this is a line, all right? mx plus b is what we think of as a line, but this is b plus mx. This is a constant plus the, the slope times the variable. That's, that's still a line. It's just kind of reversed. But you can also do it piece by piece. This is uh, a constant, the derivative of constant is 0, plus this is a number times t to the first. So the power rule says 1 times 6, t to the 1 minus 1 is 0. t to the 0 is 1, so this is just going to be 6. Okay, so that's what velocity looks like, but I'm going to clean it up. I got a 1 half, I got a 6 being multiplied, so that's going to be 1 half of 6 is 3. And then this is to the negative 1 half power. So that's the same thing as dividing by this to the positive 1 half power. You know, if I put that down in the denominator, all right? And that, and so that's fine, and, and that that's perfectly fine for the, the purposes of this. But if all I was going to do is find um, the, um, if all I was going to do is, is find the velocity, I would write this as the square root of that because it's the one half hour. I'm just going back to the form that it was in. All right, but I'm not. I'm also going to find the acceleration. So that's velocity, but leaving it in, I'm going to grab that copy it but leaving it in that original form with the negative power and just equating it to that um, this is going to be a better form for going to acceleration because I'm going to need to take the derivative again so I'm going to keep going with that process um, with with the negative exponent so yeah it is equivalent to this and this is a cleaner version of that derivative and if I was just fine if this was just an x and that was an x and this is just find the derivative of this you know, function that's meaningless, then I would write it this way. But when I'm going to use it again, then I'm going to keep it in the practical form, the, the most useful form, which is the negative exponent form. All right, acceleration is derivative of velocity. So I'm going to multiply the old power times the old coefficient. So that's going to be a negative 3 halves. All right, and then the power rule says subtract one from the exponent. The old exponent was negative a half. Negative a half minus one is negative three halves. Negative one and a half. And once again, I need to leave the inside the same. And then I chain on the derivative of what was inside again. The derivative of what's inside, just like it was the first time, is just going to be the six. And like you would guess, I'm going to clean this up. This six is divisible by 2, that's going to be a, a 3, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So this power, so the negative 3 halves times 6, I'm going to write it as negative 9. All right, and then that's perfectly fine, but once again we can do the same thing that we did before and write it in this form. So I'm going to have a negative 9 on the top divided by, and then I could say that this is, um, the square root of, oops, parenthesis, open parentheses, 13 plus 6t 
cubed using that um, definition, that exponent definition of roots and powers. Uh, this negative is not this negative. That's the negative that was out front. Okay. This negative just means it's down in the denominator, so it moved it down in the denominator. And then the third power and the index on the root is 2. So that's that's what we get. Now, I like to do um, function notation. Like, so put little t's in here um, just because it's it's a nicer notation. You have to pick one of these. Like Notice Desmos doesn't like this two equal signs in there. I'm just simplifying it, showing it how I clean it up. But as far as evaluating it, um, I need to be able to plug two in into these numbers. So um, I'm going to take out that version of it. And I'll take out that version of it. All right. And now I can plug in the velocity at t equals 2 is going to be v of 2. And I get uh, v of 2. Oops, that's out of the screen. Let me bring it back in. v of 2 is 0. 0.6, which is 3 fifths. All right. And the reason why I'm saying it's 3 fifths is because it's, it only gives me uh, integers or simplified fractions. Now think about what's going on. We're plugging in 2 for this. So this would be 6 times 2 would be 12. 13 plus 12 would be 25 underneath the radical. And the square root of 25 is 5. So it's just 3 fifths. All right. So I'm going to write it that way, 3 fifths. And then it wants to know what's the acceleration at t equals 2. And that's going to be a of 2. All right. And there's that decimal. Now, same thing here. If I plug in a 2 here, I'm going to get 6 times 2 is uh, 12. This is going to be 25 underneath the radical. Now that's 25 cubed, but it's also, you got to remember with, with these radicals and the exponents, you can do it in either order that you want to. Meaning I can take the square root first and then the third power after. And I still get the same thing. The square root, the reason I'm doing that is the square root of 25, I know it's 5. And then 5 cubed is 125. And that's still the same thing. So there's my answer as a fraction. So negative 9 divided by 125. All right, so there's how I would handle this. I hope you guys are okay with me using Desmos. Um, it's the reason why I'm doing it. This is my other alternative, and I've done this before in some of the videos. Um, and it's just not as, as clean and neat as a Desmos notation. So I hope you're okay with me using this and the little error messages that pop, pop up sometimes when I'm doing something that Desmos doesn't understand just so I can use its um, mathematical notation. So anyway, um, if you're having a, a problem with that, just let me know and um, maybe I can address it, get like a stylus or something to help um, with the neatness of it. Okay, but anyway, those are some of these um, chain rule problems. If you need any more help with it, just please let me know because that's going to be a big uh, thing going forward is that you can do the chain rule.